What up, y'all? What it do? It's your boy Ghetto. It's going down today. We on the way to now. My first time on an airplane. I'm scared as shit. I ain't even gonna lie. Follow me. All right, so now we're back in the studio and I just want to give an overview of what my experience was in NAM. And I would like to say that overall, NAM was a absolutely great experience. If you haven't had a chance to go to NAM, you should go at least once. It's a great opportunity for networking and to meet face to face with a lot of these companies. There was a lot of people in there who were extremely enthusiastic about what they do. And there were some in there who probably just didn't give a damn and we ain't even gonna talk about them. But for the ones who were ecstatic about their products and what they had to offer, they were absolutely great people. Outside of that, I was a little disappointed in myself because I didn't film as much video as I would have liked to. I kinda got lost in the moment at times. And given everything that's going on, that's really easy to do. I did get a chance to meet and see a lot of people. I did see Bolo, the producer. Didn't get a chance to say nothing to him, but I saw him in passing. I also saw DJ Battlecat and DJ Jazzy Jeff. I got a chance to meet Dilio and also Decap. Both very, very cool people. And I finally got caught up with the King O' Caesar and I am psyched. And here's some of the stuff that happened at NAM. <laughs> So this is a product called Lightwall. Uh, basically, it's an app-controlled system that allows local amateur gig guys or events, DJs, karaoke owners, photo booth owners, live bands, a way to get a pro light show at a really affordable price. And in a product that takes very little setup, it comes complete with the lights on the fabric, the frames included, and you can set it up to do a few different things. You can set it up like I have here to do music synchronization. And this will take through a series of randomizations and it'll display the, the effects based on volume and pitch and intensity of the music. And you can change it up just by tapping your finger on here and pick a different mood for whatever you want that vibe to be on the show. The other thing you can do is create effects. You go into an effects gallery and as you tap on it, it's gonna be there. That quick, that easy. I can change the color of the effect just by touching it with my finger. I can instantly make a different color. I can speed it up or slow it down. The other thing that's really cool is I can type in my own words. I can have a DJ name or a band name or a message for a bride and groom that'll scroll right across on the object itself. I create that in about 30 seconds. We can raise it, lower it, scroll left, scroll right, whatever you want to do. Create custom playlists of effects that'll go throughout a show. Create the right vibe for the right event. It's all in there. And then you can do stuff as simple as just little basic colors. Tap on one and it's there. If you're a DJ, you want to dial in colors for a, a wedding event, you can ask the bride to literally slide her finger on here and show you the exact color of her bridesmaid's dresses. And she's like, yep, that's it, great, there it is. That, those are the lights you can put over the dance floor. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in a product that folds up into a case and you can throw in the back of the car as you're going gig to gig. Designed for the working gig employee guy that's doing DJ gigs, live band gigs or whatever else. So, yep, selling price is going to be $9.99. That'll get you the full 8-foot panel with the music uh, resolution. All the free content in our app is free. Uh, but $9.99 for the fabric, light, stand, case, all included. So we are live in the Yamaha room and it definitely, it feels like luxury in here. They got velvet floors. They're doing it big in the Yamaha room. I like this. Put this together, it turns into a DAW mode, so I've got full transport, read, write, latch, all those kind of, I mean, I can switch modes to Pro Tools versus none versus Cubase. 
We, we prefer that you use Cubase as we uh, also own Slimer. I love Cubase. All right, I yeah. That. That's what I just said. Yeah, I know, right? Many people yeah, and there's not as many people, but you know, we've been, but yeah, so I've got full transport control right there. And right now, if it's in DOM mode, it uses the QE protocol, so I can move these faders oh, and yeah. they'll move mm -hmm. on your screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And these preamps right here, they're pretty decent preamps, but if you want to feed, uh, it's Dante based, so if you have some nice grace or, you know, the Rupert Neve that we collaborate with, you can hook those up to this too and use this as a summing, a summing device. So yeah, so DAW mode right there, and then uh, live mode, you know. I use mine for Zoom calls. But, <laughs> but I'm the research and development guy that worked on this as my project, so that's why I use this for Zoom calls. <laughs> no, but, that, but it's funny because if you look in one of the presets, one that comes standard with it, um, there's one on there called video call. Um, I thought video meeting. Oh, video meeting. Yeah, that was because I was using it for video meetings and it stayed in there. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, so it does a full, well, the, my custom fader layer didn't stay in with it, but it does, it, I, it does a full mix minus. Um, but yeah, so some quick, you know, podcasting settings, re recording settings, you know, things like that if you want to do presets, but you can name anything, send anything. And the nice thing is with the patching here, I can go to my patching, sorry, and if I look at my output patching, these are all of my physical Omni outs right there, but then I have my USB, I can take it from a mix or I can take it from a direct. So I can plug in directly here and I can say uh, USB 5 going to my DAW, I want to just take it off the preamp of one. So now I've just taken it off of uh, number one going to USB. So now it's a true multi-track straight from preamp, not uh, a pre-fader. Pre Hi there, I'm Tony Squid with Yamaha. This is the new Yamaha CK61. Uh, the CK61 is the newest in the stage keyboard line. So the focus on this is players, live players. You have three different instrument blocks. You have modeling organs. Uh, you have all sorts of uh, other different instruments as well. Two other different instrument blocks with like all of our best pianos, electric pianos, strings, you name it, orchestral strings, uh, you know, bass sounds, synth sounds, pads, choral pads, all that stuff. All accessible here. You can turn on the different blocks right here. So you just turn on the instruments on or off from here. And in addition to that, like if you want to go and you want to call up your favorite settings of these combinations, you have 20 different banks of eight live sets. So you can get to the sounds instantly. The, see, the sounds switch seamlessly, so you can be holding down a chord and then, and then go to a different sound if you want without it dropping out. Uh, you have uh, the accessibility of two pedal jacks in the back, so you can plug in sustain pedal. You can plug in an FC7 to do volume, or if you wanted this to be the like rotary speaker uh, speed, you could do that as well. Um, you have all sorts of great like single touch uh, effects features like you have a three band EQ on the whole deal here You have a, an overall reverb on the whole keyboard and you have the other effects processors here And if I go and select these different effects as I select here, you'll see they change on the screen here um, As well as far as it's like for a live performer What's really great about this is 61 key keyboard really lightweight and portable But say I need more space on here. I need more keys your octave switch is right here on the left hand side and then also your transpose is right here so you don't have to dive into any menu to get to those things you can get to it right from here um, and in addition to that you know you have your control of your rotary speed for your organ um, it has an AD input on the back so you can plug in a microphone the microphone can be processed with one of the signal processors as well um, it also not only does ha have USB and MIDI uh, uh, control so you can do USB and audio uh, MIDI out the uh, USB port in the back and then you also have the uh, five pin MIDI in and out in the back as well so you can use it as a controller if you like it'll work as a multi-zone controller um, and the big feature on this that's different than all of our other uh, pro keyboards is this has speakers has internal speakers uh, and the whole keyboard uh, can also be powered if you want to with eight AA batteries and uh, you know the focus on this is people that play uh, people that want to have really, really great sounds. I mean, to have something that weighs 12 pounds and be able to sit it on your lap while you're watching TV and play a nine-foot CFX concert grand piano, you know, you can do all of that, you know, right from here. Uh, or an S700 piano. So we give you a wide variety of pianos. You want upright, CP70, CP80, Rhodes piano, 
type things, uh, reed type of pianos like in a Wurlitzer, and then in layers and splits, all these things. You want to split like a good like David Foster sound and type. And then you know you have filter control here, so you want to control synthesizer sounds, anything that you would want to do to a normal uh, type synth sound, like say like this. So you have those controls, you have control of attack and release, all the things you'd want if you're a live performer, you're just trying to shape the sound in real time. But that's a CK61 and uh, there's a CK88, which is an 88 key, weighted key version. Uh, one feature besides the difference in the keys that it has, what this doesn't, is it has a place where you can uh, buy an additional music rack. Map price on this is $9.99 and map price on the CK88 is $14.99. I know I just cut that off, but that Rupert Neve console was 105000 But it was worth it, though. So worth it. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's Mario from Electron. We're here at NAMM 2023, showing off our gear, Electron. Uh, all of our devices are now available with Overbridge, um, and Overbridge is now compatible with Pro Tools. So basically what we have available is now that when you have your songs done, you could go ahead and bring them up in your DAW. And this one we have Pro Tools here. And basically everything that I have going on on the device will translate with the DAW that you have. And so th with this workflow, you're able to have a hybrid workflow, create stuff standalone with our devices. But then when you're ready to finish songs, mix them down, then you can bring them up here into Overbridge and uh, affect them differently. I'll go ahead and just play this song and then just kind of show you what's going on here. So as you can see now I have ability to go through each of these tracks and manipulate them not just from the device but also within the VST. So this opens up a whole lot more for creative choices and just expandability. And then we also have ability to load up uh, individual tracks. So then we could 
treat each individual track, mix it within our DAW, and record each individual track, um, and so that when you're ready to finish songs, then you can go ahead and finish them. And it's now available for Pro Tools AAX, so if you use whatever DAW, it's gonna work with it. And uh, yeah, if you have want any more information, hit up electron.se. All of our stuff is there uh, for sale, and also um, Overbridge, and all of our updates are available there. The equipment is cool. Yeah. The gear is cool. Being out in LA and California with the nice weather is cool. But networking and meeting people in the flesh for the first time that you've seen online, that's the top thing right there. <laughs> Sight said something right here that was so funny it had me crying. I couldn't even hold the camera up no more. But you know why. You know why. Do I look fat with it like this? Huh? I look like I got a big belly. I'm only shooting chest up. Alright, so that's it. That's my 2023 NAM recap. I got a few more videos on YouTube shorts and some videos on the gram if you want to go check those out. But I had a really good time at NAM. Now, the best part of NAM for me, it wasn't the gear that we was looking at. It was meeting all of the people and seeing all the friendly faces that you know and you love from YouTube. That was the most amazing experience, getting a chance to network with all these amazing people that you've always seen. So like I said earlier, if you ever get a chance to go to NAMM, you should go. If not for anything else, just for the networking options that you will have, because you are guaranteed to have a lot of networking possibilities. All you have to do is assert yourself and rub elbows with everybody in the room, and there's a lot of powerful people in that room, I promise you. So that's all I got for this video, and as always, I'm out. Thanks for watching.